In today's video, I'm going to test out all of Xbox emulator that are available for Android devices both on Play Store as well as from other sources. And regardless if these emulators work or not, I'll be showing you the actual way to play Xbox games on your Android devices. So for the first emulator in our list, we have to open Play Store and search for Xbox emulator and we'll see this emulator X360 emulator early access. Now I have already installed it and let's see if it's real or fake. So as you can see here I have opened the emulator and there we go guys this is what its interface looks like. Here on the home screen it says select ROMs directory. Now if you are familiar with emulation you know that this this is what Lemuroid looks like since this app is obvious it is made after, out of the open source code of Lemuroid and I don't know if we can actually emulate Xbox games so let me just see in the emulation. As you can see out of these consoles we can emulate any of our games and it also has PlayStation 2 ROMs, PlayStation ROMs and many more. And we know that Lemuroid is open source for all Android devices and is officially available on Play Store. So the guy behind this emulator just used the just used the open source code of Lemuroid and modified it. I don't even think so that it is modified because this same layout, this color exact same was used in many other emulators. So I think that the guy behind this have just copied all of this and then uploaded it on Play Store upon his name. So I'll just uninstall it. This is completely fake. Don't use this emulator. So the next emulator in our list is ebox let me tell you something this app also used to be available on play store and if i'm not wrong then i did expose this emulator previously let me just open it again and see if anything has changed so this is the interface and it says no bios file found and then it gives us a option to either click upon uh, download for the bios to be downloaded and here are some other options to interact with the ui like open settings let me tap upon settings and here it is bios needed before altering the settings all right let me go to the menu and let me hit upon tab this has opened a browser page and from here we have to download the bios so after trying to download the bios file again and again i was unable to download this and the reason was that link that they gave contained ads which makes it obvious that the developer behind this fake emulator is completely earning money with the help of ads now let me tap upon www and this opens up the same site no difference let me just close it and go back and let me click upon open so clicking on, uh, clicking upon open doesn't make any changes and i'm pretty sure that even if we get the bios file there won't be any change and it will still show the same pop-up and this is only a way to grab money uh, with the help of advertisements and make themselves rich let me go back and uninstall this emulator and the next emulator in our list is is xbox emulator so here this is the interface and it looks really really weird all right now it looks much better so here it says xbox emulator first setup and select iso and here it also says no bios you can download one here let me just tap upon it and see where it leads us to so it opened up a link and i can see only emptiness here nothing special let me go back and try to set it up with our own bios so after searching on the internet i finally found the xbox bios file so here is the bios file and I'll just extract it. Now let me go back and click upon select ISO game. I don't know why is it written select ISO game. Whereas the first step is to obviously get the console's pass file first. And here the app is completely refusing to accept any kind of dot bin file. And let me just open the app again and click upon select ISO game and go back. Then it is going to say select BIOS. Then it will say please select an older BIOS version. But I haven't added any kind of BIOS version. Let me tap on it again. It will open my phone's directory once again and then okay now select the iso game another time i don't know why is it asking for the iso game another time but in the first step it says that select the iso game file which is completely nonsensical and then it is going to say iso is corrupted try another one i mean it haven't even scanned the iso file and it is saying that it is corrupted let me just tap on it again and go back okay now select bios another time this BIOS cannot launch this game. Try another BIOS. I don't know which game is it talking about. I haven't added any kind of game or neither the BIOS. Let me tap on it again and go back. And then it just keeps uh, showing the same option. So this emulator is also completely false. Let me uninstall it. And the next emulator in our list is CXPXR. Many of you have heard about this emulator. So let me test it upon this device as well. So here I opened it and it is clearly same as the first emulator that was in our list. And it is clear that it is the code of Lemurade emulator 
which is an open emulator and this is is really sad to see that lemuroid while being an all-in-one emulator has its code open sourced and people are misusing it in order to earn profit without even doing something on their own it really doesn't make any sense to uh, use this emulator for xbox emulation so i'll just uninstall it now don't get disappointed guys if these games didn't work because in this video i'm going to tell you how you can actually emulate xbox games upon your android device now in order to actually run xbox games upon your android device what we can do is rather than emulating some real kind of xbox emulator for android devices which for now is not possible we can emulate windows emulator and upon that windows emulator what we can do is emulate xbox emulator so in my opinion you should try box 64 emulator upon your android then upon that emulator you should try xmu so you will be running xmu upon box 64 emulator which will obviously be hardware demanding and for that you would need device with latest specifications but don't worry guys i'll upload the video about this in the future if you need me to just comment me down and along with the optimizations that we would need to make that happen upon a low-end device so that is it for today's video i hope you liked and enjoyed make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe my channel and goodbye